Are you trying to get freaky in the sheets with Grim Reaper? But you're having problems getting the Grim Reaper a little extra romantic. Well, look no further, the villain to rescue. All right, so first things first is you wanna add the Grim Reaper to your family so you can kinda take control over the romantic interactions, right? But let's summon the Grim Reaper to the lot. So we all know how to summon the Grim Reaper to the lot, so I'm gonna let you use your imagination on how I'm gonna summon the Grim Reaper to the lot. So now that we have the Grim Reaper on the lot, because obviously we had to unalive a sim, now what we can do is we can either chat with the Grim Reaper or go ahead and add him to the family. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and add him to the family. So in order for us to do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the cheat command and put in testing cheats on. So now once we have that cheat enabled, what we can do now is we can just shift click on the Grim Reaper and we should get some really cool interactions. Now all you gotta do is shift click and now we should be able to add the family. So now that we can add him to the family, he should show up just like that at the bottom. And now we have full control over the Grim Reaper. See, you see how he, you see how he kind of like ignored it? Cause he's not a romantic person. Let's actually take a look at his traits. It looks like he's a party animal, a snob, and he's neat. Now, this can actually be randomized per Grim Reaper. Basically, if you go in the cache, you definitely have to go in and give him a name or whatever. I just wanted to show you his traits. So now what we can do is we can just do a bunch of romantic interactions just to see if we can get the Grim Reapers, you know, romance up a little bit. As you can see, our sim here, their romance is getting up there just a tiny bit, not too bad, but we'll keep working on it. So have a sim befriend the Grim Reaper. So now they're all friends and stuff like that. And they have a nice romance level right now. As you can tell, we went ahead and maxed it out to 100 and 100 just in a short period of time. And so what we can now do is just check out some of the interactions. So now that they have their romance level up, you can tell right here, only thing that she's able to do is exchange numbers, declare love publicly, commit, comment on their appearance, ask if single, and offer a rose, flirt, and all that good stuff. So basically we still are not able to basically have any type of woohoo or any type of stuff like that. Kiss, passionate kiss and stuff like that. But there's a workaround to that. So what we wanna do is we wanna make the Grim Reaper as human as possible. Now, he has a hidden trait, it's called is Grim Reaper. So what we wanna do is we wanna remove that trait. So once the Grim Reaper is selected, you wanna go ahead and open up your cheat command and put in traits.remove underscore traits space is Grim Reaper. And that will remove the Grim Reaper effects. So as you can see, the black mist will go away and he will walk normally and he will talk normally. So now he should be able to do his first kiss with her and all that good stuff. Yeah, buddy. Getting freaky. So let's send them to the crib so they can get freaky. See, now we're able to woohoo with Harmony and try for baby with Harmony. So with this video though, we want to have a baby with the Grim Reaper. So let's try for a baby with the Grim Reaper. Let's get freaky. Let's get freaky. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wrestling in them sheets. Uh -huh. Ta-da! All set. So we are now eating for two. So what I could possibly do right now is I'm gonna just go ahead and put the Grim Reaper trait back on the Grim Reaper because we don't need them as much anymore right now. Now, when I do stuff like this, I like to go ahead and create a new save file just in case you break your game. Just because we're doing some stuff that's, I don't know, kind of... I don't know how to explain it, but just create a new save file when you're gonna do stuff like make babies with, with the Grim Reaper and stuff like that, okay? Just create a new save file. All right, back to it. Um. 
So let's go ahead and open up the cheat command. Put in traits dot equip underscore trait bat space uh, is Grim Reaper and then enter. And if you did it right, he should have his mist. He should talk and he should do his little floating thing. All things Grim Reaper ish. So that's pretty much how you remove and equip the Grim Reaper trait. Now, let's just see what the baby looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and skip on to the trimester of their, their third trimester of their pregnancy. And we're gonna send her off to the hospital if you have the uh, get to work pack. You know what, you can't invite the Grim Reaper to Lot when he's the Grim Reaper. I have to remove that trait. Make sure you remove the trait if you want to send him to the hospital with her. To make sure it's legit, we can go into the relationships now and see that with the open profile, that this is literally his daughter, Shirley Temple Reaper, yep. The mother's last name is Temple, so it'd be funny, Shirley Temple Reaper. So, yep, so basically he is the father. Oh, look at that little baby. Yeah, so there's Grim Reaper bonding with his little daughter. Oh, she crying. He'll, he'll get, it's, it's, it'll take some practice. So let's go ahead and age up Shirley and see what she's gonna look like. All right, here it is, let's see. Baby is aging up. All right, we'll randomize this. Uh-oh, Shirley's gonna be a little fussy. Wow, redhead little old baby. So here's another fun thing. We can actually give Shirley the Is Grim Reaper trait as well. So we just simply make sure that sim selected, open up the cheat, throw in traits dot Equipped underscore traits, equip trait is Grim Reaper. So now, little Shirley has the Grim Reaper trait. But if you ever wanted to create like a cool little Grim Reaper legacy with little Grimmer, Grim Reapers running around, and this is how you do it. And then what's cool is their needs meter never, never goes unfilled. So it's kind of cool. Like you don't have to really worry about this toddler at all because their needs will always be met. See, look, see, it's kind of cool, right? So. That's kind of cool. I mean, some of their meters will eventually drop, like their bladder, their attention, and stuff like that, but they'll never get hungry, and they never would need to worry about their energy or their hygiene. So that's really cool. All right, friends, there you go. Well, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a Grim Reaper Legacy Let's Play or something like that from me. Well, I also have a couple other Let's Plays right here in case you want to check those out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Jeez, I'm full of requests right now, huh? Keep that plumb bob green. That ain't that hard. Till next time. I'll see you when I see you. Dag, dag.